Uh, it had which is a funny little evolution in that you know basically they needed a lightweight 75 mil gun and that was exactly what the um, Air army air force was up to with the mitchell trying to um get mm. a um, a decent punch and um i don't think it worked out that well for the mitchell but for um a light tank it was like hey we can fire proper 75 mil ammo so, with tell a you what, if the mitchell bomber had run into any other german bombers that uh, 75 would do some massive <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not really what bombers are for though is it <laughs> No, but uh, how they how they aimed and fired that who knows. Uh, so it, was, it had a thinner barrel, uh, a lightweight gun that could fit in the chaffee with the reduced recoils um, in there. They had a, a clever recoil reduction system where uh, there was tubes and things and clever clever boffins doing things. Yeah, clever lightweight um, uh, recoil system. It was um, centered around the barrel, so the barrels pushed back into its whole yeah. recoil system. Yeah. And um, I mean, it's kind of an, an interesting point in that this was not designed to um, sustain fire for very long. No, no, it was the, just, it's yeah. a light tank. It's supposed to yeah. shoot and scoot. Um, it was still, however, because it was a 75 mil uh, gun, it was still capable of taking on enemy armor, preferably from the sides. <laughs> um, so, yes. It could... It's normal for any armor engagement, frankly. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, uh, but it was also able to use the highly effective uh, 75 HE rounds of the uh, Sherman and the Lee, uh, 